continuing with the uh, numericals on swing equation that is we are seeing this two numericals in the last session 5.1 and 5.2 and it just we are made a corrections here it's a default uh, or angle equation a curve and it is during the fault and it is a post fault power angle characteristics okay now we will have the example 5.3 here the statement is a 50 hertz 4 pole turbo generators which is rated 100 MPa 11 kV has an inertia constant of 8 megajoules per MPa we ask you to calculate the stored energy in the rota at signal speed and we ask the acceleration if the mechanical input is suddenly raised 80 megawatt for an electrical load of 50 megawatt that is the output is 50 megawatt however the input is raised to 80 megawatt find the rotor acceleration neglecting the mechanical and electrical losses and the part c is that it is based on part b if the acceleration calculated in part b is maintained that is you are raising the input of the machine to 80 megawatt that is maintained for 10 cycles then he ask you to find out the change in the, the torque angle and the rotor speed in the in revolutions per minute at the end of this period the first one will um, find out the what is the stored energy that is the equation is the stored energy is z into h or h is equal to store, stored energy divided by z that is the, the inertia constant is the ratio of stored energy by z however the the stored energy is equal to z into h therefore the z is 100 and the h is 8 then it is a 100 megajoules in the, the stored energy and the acceleration power that is in terms of pads pa is equal to 80 minus 50 that is 30 megawatt then that is equal to m d square by delta by t t square that is a single equation that is m d square delta by t t square is pa that is pa is 30 megawatt here then we know the value for we have to calculate the value for m where m is gh by 180f here we have taken 180 therefore it should be in the degrees therefore it is g is gh already were the calculated that is nothing but the, the stored energy that is nothing but the stored energy that is 800 divided by 180 then the frequency is given as a 50 hertz therefore you are getting the m uh, angular momentum is 0 0.0 or triple eight mega joule second per electrical degrees then we are interested in the swing equation that is swing equation is uh, given by by m d square delta by d t square is equal to p a M D, m d square delta by t d square is equal to p a here the m value were calculated were calculated m value 0 0.0888 that is substituted here the same thing is substituted here that is m d square by delta is equal to 30 then your the acceleration s you can transfer this uh, 0 0.0888 to the other side then what i am getting is d square delta by d t square that is nothing but the accelerating uh, acceleration that is 30 divided over 0 0.088 that is you are, uh, you are getting the value of the acceleration is 337.8328 is the, the acceleration what you are getting then the part c what he asked is you have to find out the what is the change in the angle delta and the 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 speed if the the input as raised to 80 megawatt and maintained for 10 seconds what is the time for 10 cycle that is the question arises here that is we know that 
it is a 50 hertz machine then we know that the time is equal to 1 by frequency that is t is inversely proportional to frequency t is equal to 1 by f means it is for making 50 cycle the time taken is 1 by 50 therefore for one cycle it is a time taken is 1 divided by 50 because in one second it is making 50 cycles therefore for one cycle the time taken is 1 by 50. Now that is the input is uh, raised and kept it for 10 cycles therefore the time for 10 cycle is just I am making here it is 1 by f that is a uh, time for one cycle and such 10 cycle you are maintaining therefore the total the time duration is 0.2 seconds that is were maintained that is the increase in the input for 0.2 seconds then what should be the, the value of change in angle delta at the, the speed that we have to calculate ok now we have got the equation of m is equal to ch by pi f here I am taking the m I am expressing in terms of the radians instead of the degrees Okay. Therefore, m is equal to gh by pi, gh by pi m. Here it is 800 divided by. It is one instead of pi. I am putting here it is 150. That is 180. That is in terms of degree into 50. Therefore, the what I am getting is m is equal to 0 0.088. Already we calculated here. That is m. The same thing I am taking here. Once again, d square by d uh, d, d square delta by dt square is also calculated here d square delta by dt square is also calculated that is here that is d square delta by dt square is equal to 3.378 the same thing is once again I am reproducing here that is the value of d square delta by dt square ok then what I am doing here is uh, here it is uh, P A by M is equal to 3.008 that is what I am getting as 337.87 just I am writing d square delta by d d square is equal to 337.28 now <coughs> for I want the value of change in angle delta therefore I want to solve this particular problem and second order a differential equation I want to solve so that I, I want the relation between delta and t therefore what I am doing here is just a small the thing what I am doing here is on both sides what I am doing here is I am multiplying 2d delta by dt 2 delta by dt then what I am getting here is if you are put multiplying that it is 2d delta by dt into d square delta by dt square same as it is and it is 2 d delta by dt d delta by dt into the original 337.8378 as it is then what I mean is if you are taking the integration of this function that is the second equation it is what I am doing just I am multiplying both sides 2 delta by dt just you have to observe here if you are look into the d delta by dt whole square just uh, you can look into this and we will proceed here d delta by dt square if you are differentiating it with respect to dt d dt of d delta by dt whole square so what we are getting it is 2 d delta by dt and it is d dt of d dt of d delta by dt square dt d delta by d d dt of d delta then what i am getting here is it is 2 d delta by dt into it is d dt of d delta by dt is it is d square delta by dt square dt square that is what i mean is here is the differentiation of d delta by dt whole square that is a differentiation is this then ultimately the integration of this should be is equal to d delta by dt whole square that is 
integration of this function so that you have to get d delta by dt is dt whole square. You can observe the, the, the first term in this equation is 2d delta by dt d square delta by dt square. If you are integrating this then what I am getting is it is a d delta by dt it is a whole square what I am getting after integrating this term. That is why I am multiplying 2d delta by dt here. Okay. Okay. Can see here what I am doing? I am multiplying 2d delta by dt on either side and integrating with respect to dt. Therefore, I told you if you are integrating both sides, then what I am getting here is d delta by dt whole square into 675.6 delta because it is 2 into 337, 2 into 337 that uh, uh, 675 6 and if you are integrating with respect to t that is this t this t get cancelled then integration with respect to here delta what you are getting that is why you are getting here the term delta then the integration constant you are getting a and before the the any the change occurs t is equal to 0 change in the d delta dt is 0 therefore angle delta is also not changing before there is a change in the the input therefore the at initial stage the value of a is equal to 0 therefore my equation will be it is it is this is 0 this is 0 then if you are taking the square root of this so that it is d delta by dt is equal to square root of 675 is 25.9 and the, uh, the square root of uh, d is root delta this so we have to find out the value of the delta d delta by dt is equal to 25.9 delta then further what i am doing here is this root delta i am bringing to the left hand side dt is in the right hand side then what i am getting is d delta by root delta is 25.99 into dt that is just i am transferring dt here root delta to the left hand side now once again if you are integrating this then what i am getting is the 1 by root delta is integration is 2 root delta and the integration of this as 25.9 dt that is a t. Then what I am interested is delta therefore I am squaring both sides so that and also transferring to the other side then I am getting the value of the delta. Therefore the delta what I am getting is 674 uh, 6.749 electric because if, the, if we are maintaining the input more than the, the output for 10 cycles this is change in the angle and delta what I am getting here. Then I know the, the d delta by dt is this value that is 2 or 25.9 root delta therefore I am taking the same equation once again. I have already calculated the value of 6.74 and is a change in the angle delta that is I am substituting here then what I am getting here is it is d delta by dt is 67.518 electrical degree per second. But for further calculation, I want this electrical degree in terms of mechanical degree. For that, what you have to do? You have to divide the number of pairs of holes. That is given here. Just you can look into this equation. For one revolution, of what is the time taken? That is one revolution divided by time taken for one revolution. Just I am making this relation between one revolution and the time. That is one revolution. For one complete revolution, the total mechanical uh, angle degree traversed is 360 for time taken for t1 revolution is 60 by m therefore from this i am interested in the what is the value of m that is the one revolutions divided by time taken therefore m is equal to that is from this m is equal to 360 divided by 60 that is n is transferred to this side then that is d delta by dt divided by the number of pairs of force because i told you it is electrical degree that i have to convert into the mechanical degree therefore you have to divide the number of pairs of the force so that the value of change in the angle nea what i am getting is d delta by dt into 360 divided by 60 into number of pairs of poles if d delta by dt is in electrical degree per second so that what i am getting is the change in the speed is 5.625 
Now the accelerating speed is the original speed is 1500 rpm. Adding to that is the 5.625 because of increasing the input so that the total speed of the machine now it is 15 uh, 1505.652 rpm. This is how we have to solve the numerical for the the given example. Now we will move to the, the next uh, problem. It is similar to the first one. That is 60 hertz 4 pole turbo generator having 500 MVA capacity with 22 kilohertz with uh, inertia constant H 7.5 megajoules per MVA. We ask you to find out what is the stored energy in the rota at signal speed and angular acceleration if the electrical power developed is 400 megawatt when the input is less the rotational losses 70 uh, 7 hp just you have to look into this particular problem just we will uh, find out what is the value of the the stored energy the stored energy is given by z into h it is straightforward g is given as 500 h is given 7.5 Therefore, it is 3750 megajoules is the, the kinetic energy store. The input power is that is that is the, the angular acceleration, the electrical power developed. Electrical power developed means it is output. Whereas the input is 7,40,000 HP. Therefore, that you have to convert into watts by multiplying 746. That I want to convert into megawatts that is why I am multiplying here 10 to minus 6. So that what I am getting is the mechanical power input to the generator is 552 megawatt whereas my output is 400 megawatt. Therefore, there is an acceleration of accelerating power of 552 minus 400 that is 152 megawatt. Then from the standard my um, equation of a swing equation, swing equation m d square by delta square is p a then once again m is transferred to other side m is calculated g h by 128 into f that comes out to 0.3472 then dividing m here to the 152 it is already that is accelerating power is calculated here so that what I am getting is 437.788 electrical degrees per second square. It is we have to calculate this electrical degrees should be converted into mechanical so that we have to divide the number of pairs of course. Here it is a 4 pole machine therefore 4 pole machine it is 437 437.788 divided by 2 because the number of two pairs of course is 2 so that what I am getting is 218.9 mechanical degrees per the second square is a d square delta by dt square so that the accelerating power uh, that is uh, that is a speed the watt per second square s that is it is you have to divide you have to multiply by 60 into 360 so that i am getting 36.5 rpm per the second square is the the angular acceleration that is what i am getting is the angular acceleration this so we have to solve the numericals on the swing equation